Some of you, if you're watching the video, you almost certainly would have noticed that I'm using a different microphone today. Some of you might have even heard it. Although I will say that this, it's the new Earthworks Ethos, E-T-H-O-S microphone uh, that I'm testing out today. And I will probably use it for a couple of weeks uh, just to, to, you know, force myself to get over any change resistance with it. It is um, a microphone that's an iteration of their, uh, of another mic that they had sort of a combination of, of a few mics in my opinion uh, uh, as to what they had and they um, but it is the you know I use that Heil PR40 and I've used it for years and then I earlier this year I tested out the Earthworks Icon mic which I was impressed with but it felt a little flat to me it needed a lot of EQ to make it sound like home for me and it was just always a little bit scratchy this one feels most like home to me of any mic that I've used. I'm using very little EQ on this. Um, maybe a little a slight pullback at like 800 hertz or so um, because it was just being a little bit, to me, it was being a little bit too energetic there. But otherwise, the top end is fine. I'm not having to like dial in a de or a whole ton it's a comfortable mic to use. It's a little weird because it has a foam windscreen on it. And that is part of the design of this microphone. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's built that way. It's predecessor kind of had a foam windscreen that I think they, they, you know, they've just brought forward. Um, but it's a, it's a great sounding mic. It's an end fire microphone as are the others that I've used here. Meaning if you're looking at me, you know, the sound goes into the end of it. I talk across an end fire microphone uh, to keep my peas from popping at all of you and also just to keep things out of my way. I don't know if it'll it'll if it'll remain my um, main mic. I kind of want to go and use it on other things like, you know, on my snare drum right over there and and see how it, it does for that, because it feels like it's got that perfect sort of articulation that I might like out of a snare drum, but but still has that that beefiness of, you know, that that mid range that I actually pulled out of a little bit. So. I'll keep you posted. But.